Welcome to another connection here on TKO8 Television. I'm Dennis King, Tabitha Odegaard. Always a pleasure to be with you each week as we uh, bring in different organizations and people to talk to us about what's going on around the area. And boy, there's always something going on around this area, you know. We, We're a busy week, hopping place. We really are a hopping yeah, place. Around we here, are. There's know? always something going on, it seems really, like. We really. never have any issue with uh, finding people to come on oh. the show at and all. Which makes it kind of nice when you're living in a small community like uh, Harrison and all the small communities around us, there really is quite a bit of things going on. There, there is, you know? absolutely. It's not like we're in the metropolitan area or something. Yet. Right, exactly. <laughs> but there is tons going on. How's yeah. the summer working out for you? Oh, gosh, I love it. <laughs> the sun working? is out. I've yeah. been at the pool yeah. probably three or four times already. Yeah. I've got a little pink on my nose looking yeah. like Sporting Rudolph style. <laughs> and but it's your kind of work. I love it. I do too. Oh, I I'm like so happy. Very, very happy. Jim is crazy busy. Yeah, Jim is crazy busy. Barbershop busy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody's got to get a haircut. Barbershop and and, uh, fitness training, you stay pretty busy, don't you? I try to. I try to. (laughs) That's good. (laughs) You golfing, I'm sure. I love to golf. Yep, yep. I love golfing. Played in a big tournament. Uh, this came in second place. Oh, in flight. Yeah. congratulations. And uh, awesome. so we won a little bit of uh, money and uh, had a great time. Yeah, that yeah. was the yeah. one with the, that was Father's Day. Yes, right. Father's mm-hmm. Day weekend. It was awesome. for United Way. Uh, big, put on by FedEx. Magnus big turnout. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had like 150 something golf. Oh, good, yeah, it good. Big, well, it's the biggest tournament that they play here. in, in Right, Madison. so they Tampa. raised uh, some chunk They raised the uh, about $10,000. $10,000? 10, for United Way. Yeah. That's nice. a big deal. So it's, it, was, it was worthwhile, and it was fun. And it was raining? I think it was We had a little rain Sunday uh, morning. Uh, kind of delayed the tournament, but then it turned out the sun came out, and humidity went up, and it was a beautiful day. Okay, so awesome. Everything worked out good. Good deal, good deal. Let's take a quick break. Be back in a moment on Connection. Talk to two ladies about a big event coming up just to the south over in Jasper on Connection. Connection is brought to you in part by Ben Eddings Auto Group, where you're a customer once and a friend for life. Ben Eddings Auto Group in Harrison, Arkansas is your destination for a new or pre-owned car. Did you know that shopping for a car or truck can be a positive experience? Meet the professionals at Ben Eddings where service and satisfaction are more than just words. See for yourself why so many people in the Ozarks keep coming back to Ben Eddings for all their auto and truck needs, including maintenance and service. Ben Eddings Cadillac, Buick and GMC, where you're a customer once and a friend for life. Planting a garden, decorating a patio. Need a decorative or fruit tree? Well, stop in at Camp's Plants in Harrison. At Camp's, you'll find a huge selection of heirloom tomatoes and pepper plants, beautiful hanging baskets, mixed patio pots, trees in several varieties, perennials, and much more, all at the best prices in the area. Don't forget to ask about their daily specials, too. Buy locally grown and support our local economy. Camp's Plants in Harrison. Back on Connection here on TKO8 <coughs> Television and our first guest in the studios today, two ladies from over in uh, Newton County. Both of you live over that way. Mm-hmm. I want to welcome uh, Nancy Atkinson and Patty Mills. Got it right? And it's You spell it P-A-T-T-I-E, right? Correct. We're glad to have both of you here. You know, the thing about particularly Nancy, she never gets excited about anything. You remember last time <laughs> she came in? I think we laughed the whole show. <laughs> Well, she's just funny. I've already been cracking up this whole time. We hadn't even been on She's already yet. been done she's testing, <laughs> testing, one, two, three over she's here. She's you know? quite a character. <laughs> so how I you like her sense of humor. It's uh, really, really good. So I guess you've been pretty busy getting down to the wire on this uh, uh, elk festival. How many years now? Uh, the 17. 17 years. 17, all for the, right. For the elk Very festival good. over there. Mm-hmm. Um, Still going strong. Yeah. Got yep. a good turnout every year. Mm-hmm. Bigger and mm-hmm. bigger. Yes. And bigger and bigger each and every year. Yes. It, awesome. And when I think, it, actually, Patty mentioned before the show started, you've kind of outgrowing the area. I mean, mm-hmm. the, the space yes. over there at yep. Jasper. That's a good turn, problem to have. Turn down vendors. Turn down vendors so big. Wow. wow. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's talk a little bit about sponsors to start with. Kind of mm-hmm. who puts it on? Who's the lead group here? Well, the Newton County Chamber of Commerce is the one that heads it up, and then okay. we have assistance from 
uh, Arkansas Game and Fish Commission and the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Okay, I forgot about the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Mm -hmm. That's uh, uh, and it, let's go back just a little bit <laughs> here, and and for your benefit, and for and I forgot, and for people out there, how many years now since they actually brought the elk? from Colorado down to the Buffalo National They Bay. brought them down in, well they tried once in the 70s and it wasn't successful and then they tried in the 80, 1980 and it was. Okay, so mm -hmm. they brought in the elk, the, this group mm -hmm. of elk uh, that, yeah, that's from Colorado. moved along from Colorado and uh, I, can't remember, I, I can't remember, I it didn't, wasn't very many was it? To mm -hmm. a, 20, 24 30, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I started to say less than 30 mm -hmm. that they brought in there mm -hmm. and uh, but the, when they brought them in around 1980 then they they flourished at that point. Right. And of course, now they're all over the they're place. They're all over. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they have actually spread out. I guess people. They're migrating know, down the buffalo. That's <laughs> what they're doing. They keep going further and further. And down south, like um, mm -hmm. in the Richland area, the w Richland wilderness, there's mm -hmm. a lot of them. A lot down of them. There and now. of course, mm -hmm. all that national forest, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's natural right. mm -hmm. habitat for them, right. you know, and well protected. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and we're going to talk a little bit. And been down that way in quite a yeah. while. Need but to they're beautiful to watch. I guess oh, yeah. they, somebody said one time they're the most filmed elk in the United States. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. the, the <laughs> more people stop uh, up there in uh, Boxley, Boxley, Valley. Boxley Valley where they all Hawking graze Boxley. out there and they, they have cameras and they got, you know, professional people. They've got coming. cameras that are yeah. like yeah. <laughs> lenses. Right. Right. So where it's like well, right I mean, on top literally of professional yes. photographers oh, yeah. go there to shoot for magazines sure. and stuff, Absolutely. you know, outdoor magazines and different things, you know. Absolutely. And uh, so it's amazing. And I mean. they're not very skittish or they weren't whenever oh, I saw them. No. I, no. Saw I well, jumped the fence and I was wanting to get really close. I probably was from here to you. Yeah, but, you know, take a while animal you have to be careful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, don't try to walk up and yeah. one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't, don't want to get them. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, so, Maybe. what's going on at the Elk Festival? Um, let's go uh, arts and crafts and Dutch oven cookoffs uh, and talent maybe, shows. Let's kind of go by day. You, it's a okay. Friday Saturday deal. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the maybe on the twenty seventh, which is Friday. Talk a little bit about. You can read your right. deal there. What kind of some things that go on? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, it starts at ten o'clock, and the arts okay. and crafts and everything are going on. And then at high noon, we have our our local. Impressionist Donald Payne kicks it off. He can do every kind of animal I think there is. Really? Right. Oh yeah. He and he's funny. Yeah. I have him off to also do an airplane that makes you think that it's coming in and fixing to land you in a fighter plane too. <laughs> He just does all different they, things. I, I, so I, he kind of kicks off the festival. Actually, he was on Ozark Idols three. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. he was he was on Ozark Idols, mm -hmm. uh, which, was our, which mm -hmm. was our program oh, really? that we did here. Yeah, he was really a really very good talent. And Jim was just telling me on my headset mm -hmm. that he was part of our program. So he was very good. Oh yeah, I remember him. He's awesome. Uh, yeah, he kicks off the festival at noon on Friday. Okay. All right. Kind of yeah. going down the list there. What else? We've got uh, then they can start the on-site registration at one o'clock. Uh huh. So that's one to five on Friday, and uh, then but all day long we have a talent show going on. Okay. So somebody's on the stage all the time. Somebody's basically. on the stage all the time. From this okay. size to what? I mean, they're right. just, yeah, little yeah. kids, little to grown ups, yeah, yeah. Yes. all yeah. types of stuff. So all they need mm -hmm. to do is call Michelle Kilgore. Mm -hmm. Now, how would they get a hold of her? Her phone number is. Let's see. One Where of them. is she? <laughs> mm. <laughs> there it is. Got it. Eight seven zero. Two eight zero eight nine six two. Okay, now if people don't remember all of these phone numbers and stuff. Right. Can they call the Chamber of Commerce? Yeah, they can call the Chamber, or they can go on our website at theozarkmountains.com. Go to the Elk Festival and click on, click on Talent it. Show or and whatever. Tell them. I know you got a real mm -hmm. nice website there that shows everything. So. Right. So okay. Uh, so starts at ten o'clock. Goes till how late on Friday evening? Eleven. Eleven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. So that's and your kickoff day. You're right. And we've got Trey O'Dell coming in, and he's going to sing. He was on uh, Disney's American Idol. Oh he wow. Was, he was the finale winner. Okay. Okay. On that, and so he's going to entertain at four thirty, and then we've got Nighthawk at five thirty. Doug Scallion. Everybody's. He's been there several years. He's mm -hmm. kind of break between mm -hmm. the two bands. He just okay. gets out in the audience and gets everybody involved. Okay. He okay. does different impressions. And right. Okay. Neat. And right. then we've got Whistling Dixie coming in at eight thirty to finish out the evening. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go right on over. We've got okay. about five minutes. Let's go on to Saturday. Okay. Saturday, the pie competition. You can they can turn their pies in. That in, all that information is on the website. Okay. You know okay. about where these things are going to be, but it's going to be held down at the Legion Hut, and then. Uh, Kids Fishing Derby is at Bradley Park. Right. 
and that starts they sign up starts at eight and the fishing derby actually starts at about nine okay <coughs> but um, yeah the kids love it they win all kinds of prizes and then we always have the uh, the grand prize is going to be a kayak oh, oh. Okay. all of their names are put in yeah okay before we today. go any further nice. let's talk about the dutch oven competition the dutch oven competition yeah mm -hmm. before we were going down let me that, go, that starts that. at eight o'clock or in the morning is, is and that, they start cooking is that's in, on saturday morning. that's on saturday mm -hmm. morning okay. it's just a saturday deal okay um we have up to 10 teams and each team each team has three players in it and okay. they cook a bread a meat and a dessert and the judging starts at one o'clock they're they're everything's cooked over charcoal or wood mostly mm -hmm. charcoal mm -hmm. nowadays but mm -hmm. Um, they have to do it in the old style, and they dress up. Some of them dress up. Some of them just wear team shirts or something. Right. But uh, it's they're ju we have a silent judge that goes around and judges how they interact with everybody and how they dress, how they their cleanliness. You know, just different things like right. that. Right. Right. And um, then that's awarded at four thirty, I think it is. Okay. Like All right. But uh, it's very inter and we have a taste taste bowls that we sell. And you can um, try it out. to try it out, okay. and you can go and um, okay. the food is gone. <laughs> <laughs> the food is always gone. The food is always gone. Kind of fun I think I've gotten it, some you know. two years. Absolutely, uh, the pies is what I'm yeah, thinking. The pie competition, you do <laughs> yeah. pie competition. Um, okay, <clears throat> the elk hunt permits. Now that's mm -hmm. uh, is that the elk foundation who does? No, that's the Arkansas Ga Game, Game and Fish. Game. Uh -huh. So c people can go sign up at right. the event. Mm -hmm. There's 23 permits that they can sign up for, for before the event, mm -hmm. and they do that through Arkansas Game and Fish. Right. At the festival, they sign. They're registering for three permits. Three additional ones. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two uh, antler. Two antlers and one antlerless. Either way. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like so they do yeah. they can three. sign up for that starting at nine o'clock on Saturday to four o'clock, and then that drawing is at five o'clock, and they have to be present to win it. To win that. I knew mm -hmm. they did. Okay. The other ones, the other 23, they don't have to be present to win those. Okay. 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 We've got a few little time. Any more talk about anything else on the on the on calendar Saturday. of events there? Yeah. Oh, uh, my goodness. <laughs> we got more talent show on, uh, yeah. on Saturday. We've got lots of talent. So. And then we've got Trey O'Dell coming back, you know, kind of before that first elk permit. Okay. And uh, then Fish and Derby and an elk calling contest. Right. It's just on and on. Elk Everything. calling contest oh. is a lot of fun. And We're that's uh -huh. from that's from little ones up yeah, there. I mean, yeah, yeah. little kids. The kids I was over there one time. It's amazing mm -hmm. how they could call this. I mean, it sounded like an elk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little bitty kids. And I they mean, have just different just categories, don't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 yeah, they judge them. Yeah, they have to do a, the male and the female. Right. Yeah. Wow. And uh, yeah, so there's adult, youth, and peewee. Okay. Groups. Okay. What else? We got a couple minutes. Anything else we want to mention? Highlight about the event. Carl Acuff and Junior <coughs> Kendall. Yeah, our evening entertainment is going to be really great. We've got uh, Donald Payne again, uh -huh. start at 3.15, uh -huh. and then Ronnie Long and Friends, and they just do traditional folk blues. They're a real good group. And then um, National Park Radio comes on at 5.30, then Doug Scallion again at 7, and Carl Acuff Jr. and Jeannie Kendall. Mm -hmm. Finish out the rest of the night. That'd be a, that's a pretty big headliner for you there. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we were just talking before the show, so right. lots of things. It's lots kinda, of things it's just nonstop. Really, yeah, bring, yeah. bring yeah. your lawn chairs and sit around. And the, the stage is never stops. The stage has always got something going on. Mm -hmm. And they've got they've got really an area out in front there mm -hmm. uh, of the big stage mm -hmm. where you can bring your lawn chair or you know put mm -hmm. a quilt on the ground or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, just sit there and enjoy. Right. And if you get hungry, there's plenty the of food. Food's right behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Food's nice. right behind you. <laughs> It's, it's kind of tough to stand there in front because you get all the aroma of all the different foods they're cooking. So you have a tendency to kind of wander around and start eating some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> At least I did. I don't know last time. All right, this is June 7th, uh, 27th yep. and 28th. And, and 28th. Yep. Okay. So we have right. a big Things going fireworks on all day display. long. Oh, you do fireworks? Yeah. Oh, at yeah. the end of the? Yeah. Okay. No, at, at the, during the... Final yeah. performers. It's like okay. at nine thirty and okay. something. So you can mm -hmm. see some fireworks. Nine thirty, okay. Yeah. After the gets and they said we've had a lot of people say 
Oh, y'all put on a better show than some of the big cities. That's great. Oh, <laughs> that's and, a big compliment. Well, thank, you right, thank you guys for coming we in. We appreciate yeah, you both you. coming in today and, and being on the show. And obviously it takes a lot of work to put a festival together like this. So I'm sure both of you have spent a lot of time and will spend a lot more time <laughs> oh, getting ready to go. But we appreciate we, you coming. We've set volunteers to help. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just come on back. Give us a call. call we want volunteers. volunteers. <laughs> thank you all. Thank we, you so much. We appreciate very, very much. Thank you for having us. Don't forget about the big... Elk Festival, the 17th year, right on the square in downtown Jasper. You can't miss it because you can't go around the square. It's on Friday, June the 27th, starts about 10 o'clock in the morning and starts early on the 28th and goes all day long into the evening hours. Constant music, all kinds of entertainment, vendors, so forth. Don't miss it this year. They appreciate you coming over. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment on Connection. We've got another couple of ladies talk about something else going on around the area on Connection. Connection is brought to you in part by Ben Eddings Auto Group, where you're a customer once and a friend for life. The Fitness Club is the area's premier 24-hour gym. You'll find the best cardio equipment, including treadmills, bikes, and ellipticals, state-of-the-art Cybex and Nautilus machines, free weights, private showers, and flat-screen TVs. Personal trainers are available for one-on-one -on -one assistance and customized training programs. After a vigorous workout, enjoy a refreshing smoothie or energy drink from their sports bar. And you can come and go anytime using the electronic card reader, so it's like having your own gym. The Fitness Club, 200 Highway 43 East in Harrison. Many things have changed over the years, and so has Auto Body Repair. Even though Ozark Auto Body has been in business for over 30 years, they continue to change with the times. They believe protecting the environment is important and have done so by using environmentally friendly waterborne paint from PPG. This aligns with the technology used by original manufacturers and gives you a lifetime limited warranty. Quality PPG waterborne paint, ASC certified personnel plus 24 hour towing service. Ozark Auto Body and Harrison always taking pride in excellence. Back on Connection here on TK08 Television, Dennis King, Tabitha Odegaard. Thanks for joining us for the second half of our show today. Uh, we have two individuals that uh, are going to talk to us about something a little bit different than the Elk Festival, which we just talked about. Thanks for coming in. We have Freddie Thanks. Bedard and Dee Snow. Hi. Both hey, Dee. Indeed. Thanks All right. Nice to meet you in. guys. First time, Thank I think you so much you for coming. You guys have been in on this First show. Both of us. So awesome. We appreciate it very much. What very are we going to talk good. about here today? I don't know. What are we going to talk about, guys? <laughs> Christian <laughs> Motorcycle Association. Yeah. You bet. Kind of tell us a little bit about it. Well, we are uh, the Christian Motorcyclist Association. We're an organization here in town that uh, ride motorcycles, love the Lord, and kick back and relax. We just have fun and have a great time. It is okay. So you're the local chapter of the Christian. Okay, so it's yes, a sir. national. It's a national organization. Uh, more than twelve hundred and sixty chapters in the United States. Oh my. 30 countries. Wow. Wow, wow, big deal. 160,000 members. How long have we had a chapter here? Uh, we've been in this city since 1999. Since 1999. Okay. You bet. Okay. Absolutely. How long have you been doing this? Since 2003. I've been right. here. Um, the chapter come out of Branson, Missouri. Okay. Uh, we are, uh, it was formed uh, in September. The fall of '99, from Branson, and then out of this chapter, we've had three forming chapters: one mm -hmm. in Carroll County, the Light Brigade; mm -hmm. one recently that just got their charter over in Marion County, uh, Faith Rider, uh, Buffalo River Faith Riders; and then Harrison also now has a second chapter for um, ATVs, uh, sports bikes, oh. and uh, the new. Uh, the new, the most recent ride group, which is uh, called Fastlane, for uh, dual sports, the multi-purpose bikes, things mm -hmm. like that. Okay, so it's a pretty big deal, obviously. You bet. Right. You bet. Okay, the ministry of, of CMA is called Run for the Sun, and what happens to what do you do with all that ministry proceeds and so forth? Well, the Run for the Sun, S O N, mm -hmm. is a one-time fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Last year, we raised nearly four million dollars. Now, unlike other charities, nothing goes to administrative costs. 100%. 100% yeah. goes to the charity. Okay. Now, let's, let's not get that confused. 40% of that money stays in the United States. All right? Out of that 40%, it is used for things to buy ministry tools 
for uh, one of our best and the third largest in the United States over in Fayetteville, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. where we can buy watering cups, tracks, uh, tools to use to reach out to bikers. And then the absolute largest is Daytona Beach, which happens in February. And then Sturgis, which is the second largest, of course. Mm -hmm. And then some of the smaller ones, Laguna Sega in California. Okay. And then Myrtle Beach in uh, North Carolina. Okay. So those are the three largest events that happen in the United States, Fayetteville being the third largest. Mm -hmm. 400,000 people come out last year mm -hmm. to Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. okay. um, Harrison is getting very smart. They're incorporating and letting the bikers come here, right. which is a smart way to invest in our money sure. and resources here. Right. Yes. So that's where 40% of the money goes. Okay, 60 goes where? Mission Adventures, where we purchase motorcycles, <laughs> the odd camel. For an example, here's what, as of 2013, CMA provided internationally. We did 400 or 4,779 motorcycles. Bought them? Bought them. Uh, yeah, bought, bought them and gave them to missionaries in foreign countries to help them get yep. into the wilderness where yeah, somebody around. might walk and only be able to visit one or two churches on a bike they might be able to see 20 or 30. Okay. Yep. We've provided um, bicycles, we provided 6,296 of those, 23 horses, 24 boats, one camel, mm -hmm. one horse and buggy, and wow. to get that, around. Do you know that's uncommon for good. us here in America? Well, yeah. But uh, no. some of the terrain is really, really rough. Well, and, and, and in many countries, I mean, actually, uh, because of affordability, I mean, I, I travel overseas a lot <laughs> in my past life, and in many countries, bicycle is considered a primary right. mode yeah. of transportation, particularly in China and some of these countries. Well, that uh, was just 20% <coughs> that so went to Missionary Ventures. Yeah, and then you did. Mean, that's, that's, uh, but that's a lot of that's a, that's, that's a lot amazing. of money. That's, that's a lot of money wonderful. being spent. They take so another twenty percent, and they do the Jesus film, which I don't know if y'all have seen that. Just recently, not. they've been showing that. Hmm. Um, oh, several months ago, they had a big showing in Little Rock. And what are and they calling this? It's called the Jesus Film Project, and of course, it's a film about the life of Jesus, but it is translated into multiple languages. Over hmm. eleven 1 hundred languages currently, hmm. and that's supported by. CMA was this a well. was this a major film production? I mean, yes. it, it's okay. Yes. I don't guess I'm and then the last twenty percent is used uh, to purchase Bibles, and okay. they are sent to third world countries, where unlike us Americans, we might have six or eight copies of the Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. One country, one family might have one page of a torn Bible out and torn oh. out, and that's given to wow. one family that mm -hmm. we might have 10 or 12 people reading one page All right and so that was uh, originally started by brother Andrew and uh, who smuggled Bibles in and we just joined in on his efforts hmm wow yay nice this yes. is all good yeah. and exciting stuff okay, uh, awesome. okay uh, let's see L well, let's talk about maybe what you do kind of as fundraiser things that you do with a local chapter I want you get into that a little bit you bet um, we're blessed the city of Harrison um, in the past, and, and we know this, uh, bikers sometimes don't have the greatest reputation, right. uh, but the city has come on board. Um, this is our third year of doing this. They've allowed bike night here in Harrison. Mm -hmm. um, we're down located on Sycamore Street mm -hmm. between Rush and Ridge, mm -hmm. and uh, we, as CMA, our part is to provide food. And so we take and um, do hot dogs and burgers and chips and the local biking community get together. It's family oriented, so we have students and kids and mm -hmm. moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and they come down. Mm -hmm. We have music, the other organizations get together. Uh, Godfather's Pond, Godfather's Power Sports, Open Throttle, Kawasaki, um, Yamaha. Uh, Yamaha. Um, get together. So do you actually close when off the street? Close, close off, the off the street. street. And have you had that yet? Yes. Yes. It's You've had one? It is the first Friday of every month, okay. beginning in April, 
and going through October and if weather permits maybe a final one in November and at 530 we closed Sycamore off um, and that's between Russian Ridge as right. Freddie mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. and we put barrels up in line I mean the bikes can kind of get in and where the road is closed off the bikers park their bikes sure. So you can go and admire a variety of motorcycles mm -hmm. from just the basic bike to some really fancy painted right. uh, things. So there. you kind of have a bike show kind of thing along yeah. the street there. And then and you have food. Food. We, you have entertainment. Do live you? band. Live uh, band. Uh, the most okay. recent band was uh, Southern Confessions was here just this past week, mm -hmm. uh, this past bike night. Um, they played a variety of music. Yeah, they did. Uh, we've had uh, country gospel. We've had bluegrass. Uh, Blue Blue was Grass here Grass. last month or last year. Um, just a variety of entertainment. Kids on skateboards show up. <laughs> we've had How long has this been going on? The back for three years. This three years. Third year. Third, third set of Third years. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, it took a little bit of convincing. Uh, but uh, the mayor got involved. The police chief got involved. The sheriff got involved. Um, they're trusting the judgment of uh, of all the bike groups and uh, right. the stores, the the vendors, the you know the businesses. Okay. Um, it, it's great that they're cooperating and and uh, no incidences. I mean, it's July just really there. I'm sorry, it says that bike night's going to fall on July fourth. So your next one's July fourth. Exactly. Awesome. Friday, oh, that, July fourth. That's uh, perfect. That'll be perfect. We've done uh, last year. We did a whole hog. Mm -hmm. uh, baked beans, uh, potato salad, coleslaw, the whole works. This year, because it's on the holiday, the bikes will be there. We've incorporated the, the rat rod cars, mm -hmm. the custom cars have started coming in this year. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to invite everybody, bring your lawn chair. Don't fight the crowd. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking anything away from the city. But you'll have a perfect view of the fireworks show with live music mm -hmm. as well. Oh my gosh, it's going to be crazy out. down there. Because mm -hmm. uh, you can have the fireworks. Everybody that's You can see, because we're well, you can see the fireworks one street away the from the lake. Over, over on the, the creek. Right. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. And uh, yeah. hey, we'll, we'll do what we can. If we run out of food, we run out of food. You know, we'll have water. You know, uh, Women okay. on Wheels are okay. going to try to do their charity event okay. for raising some of their funds. Uh, okay. The uh, stores stay open. Uh, uh, open Throttle and Godfather's Power Sports, so you can ask them any technical questions, Yamaha, and Kawasaki. They, and they'll bring down, usually, some bikes that are for sale to showcase them. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. So you don't necessarily have to be a rider, um, just an enthusiast. Okay. One, and sometimes we have stunt bikes that, where the street is closed off, they'll do. They'll do some stuff. Oh, they'll do some stunts. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, you've got a Facebook page. Uh, you might mention that quick. We've got about two minutes left. Okay, okay it's facebook.com forward slash covenant warriors ch for chapter ch604. If you type in the search covenant warriors, it'll come up. It'll come up, okay. And if you need to contact us at all, we also have an email, which is HarrisonCMA604 at Gmail. Uh, we have a mailing list that we send out, calendars of events, newsletters. So if you just want to know about the biking community and rides that are coming up, we're trying to get everyone to send us their information so that it can be centrally located. Right, so you can kind of put it in there. I got you. Correct. And if they wanted to call you, Freddie, you've got your number, 870 688 1413 or D 870-715-7537. That is correct. And if you want to bug them, just call them. Call us. We'll answer, answer all your questions. <laughs> They'll answer weekend. all your questions. That's that, boy, that's a pretty exciting. That's, I know. That's I didn't even know it's been here. This is their third it, year of doing it. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Great. Well, that, it, it sounds like a great organization, obviously, for the right reason, for the right cause. So you're doing a lot, not only for locally but nationally and internationally so and also we meet on the fourth thursday of every month at six o'clock to eight seven to meet at western sizzling okay that's so cma that's kind of so they'd right. like to get involved by get involved in. that's right give us a call thank, thank you, you so much for informing us yeah, this is awesome Thanks Thanks thank you for all your hard work i really thank appreciate the, the city and uh, the other bike groups, you know, it, for it takes involved. a group effort. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. Welcome Keep down. up the good work. There. Thank you. Yes, hey, listen, well. great time, July 4th, mm -hmm. bike night. Uh, go right down. They'll have it right off of Sycamore there. You can't miss it. They'll have it blocked off. So if you want to watch the fireworks, have some food, some fun. It's a family event. Help this group out. Uh, they they could use your help because it certainly goes to a great organization. Mm -hmm. Hope you have a good week. Thank Look you, Dennis. warming up. Keep getting some pool time <laughs> and just enjoy this nice weather. I will. You too. Thanks for joining us on Connection. We'll see you all again next time. <laughs>